In this video, I'm going to be giving you a full setup guide, a review, and an unboxing on this new Framio frame. Now, what it is, is it's basically a digital frame that you can put up to 60,000 photos on. It serves as a picture frame, looks like one, you can even hang it on a wall, and you can actually change like how often you want a new photo to display on the frame. Like if you want a new photo every 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15, 30 every minute, you like want to just look at it just as a normal photo. But yeah, this is basically serving as a picture frame except it shows a new photo however often you want. All right, so right here is my Framio frame. I'm gonna be doing a setup and an unboxing just showing you what I get in the box. There's a bunch of different sizes of these frames that range from like 12 inch, nine and six. This is one of the bigger ones that you can actually buy. So when you open up the box, you will actually get a few pieces of styrofoam along with the Framio frame, along with a cord and an outlet plug, obviously. And you also get a stand. So how you just put the stand on is it's basically magnetic. You just put it in the little pocket right there and it literally stays like that's it. And it'll just stand up straight like this. Or if you want to put it sideways, you can also put your stand in this way and just simply just put it down like so. And yeah, it'll stay up like this. So you can have it vertical or horizontally. All right, so how you turn on your frame, like how you just access it to add photos to it, is you basically want to plug in this little thing, the USB, I don't know what it is, a headphone jack into the thing that says DCI in. And you want to put this into that hole right there. You also have a headphone jack, a USB, and a Bluetooth or something like that cable if you do need to plug in other stuff to your frame, which you can actually charge stuff from your frame, which is really nice. And once you've actually plugged this in, you just want to plug in your wall outlet into the plug right here, like so. And once you've plugged it in, it'll start like rebooting. It'll just start turning on like so. And yeah, give it a second. All right, as you can see, I've got my Framio. I've added a few photos already. And how you actually can add some photos is you need to get the Framio app. You can get it on Google Play or the App Store and actually create an account. It'll prompt you to, because you have to, if you actually want to use the app. And you can actually just click on this option in the top right hand corner and actually add the code, the pairing code that will appear on your screen when you turn this on. Now, once you've actually entered in your pairing code for the frame, to add photos, all you need to do is you click on these three little dots, this grid on the bottom middle the screen and you'll be brought to this panel like so where from here you can actually select any of these photos in your camera roll or videos and just add them into the frame that you actually are connected to on this page like so and as you can see you can also filter this just by any of your albums that are on your phone right here and to add photos you just click on it again and then click on this little arrow in the bottom right -hand corner of the screen and as you can see you can select any of these frames that you actually want to add it to in this case, I'm just checking this box right here. And then you click on this little arrow in the bottom right corner of the screen again. And as you can see, we can write a caption to our photo if we want. And once you do that, you just click on the arrow once again in the bottom of the screen. And you can actually adjust for the center of the photo so that the center of the photo is the focus that shows up in the center of the screen. Now, unless you want the center of focus to be this branch or something way off to the side, I recommend just leaving it in the middle most of the time. And once you've actually adjusted your focus, you click on send photo and you've actually just sent your first photo to the frame. But you can do individual photos like I just showed you, or you can actually hold down on one of these photos and select multiple and just add them all to the frame again with the arrow and you can adjust them and then click on send and they will actually be sent into the frame and just add it to the rotation like so. And when you touch on the screen, just tap anywhere in the middle, you can actually have a bunch of these settings options. You have adding a person in the top left. You can actually add any person using this code right here on screen. Now you can send this to any person in your family. Now, if you gifted this screen to your grandmother, for example, you can copy this code and send it to any relatives on your screen who are using the app and they can basically add the code using the exact same way that I showed you on this side of the screen over here. And as you can see, we can also just click on react right here, which is basically reactions. If they have notifications on, they can actually view them on their phone based off what photos you reacted to. We can hide photos by clicking on hide photos and that photo will no longer show up in the rotation of whatever photos are showing up on the screen. We can click on gallery to actually view all of the photos in this gallery right here. And you can actually scroll down or delete any through that settings. You can click on fit to frame. Now what this does is it fits the frame to whatever dimensions the photograph was actually taken. You can see this is not exactly 12 by 
six inches, whatever the screen is. So it'll basically just throw the whole photo and not crop anything off of it right here. And if you want to take that off, you can also click on it once again, and it'll just remove the crop, which I think it's a lot more pleasant when it's like this. And you can also adjust the photo just by clicking on this. As you can see, we can use our finger or fingers to zoom in and just move the focus of the photo on the screen right here. You want that to be the center or someone's eyes or so on. And then you can click on rotate. If you want to rotate it, it'll take a second. If you want to rotate it, like if your screen is the other way, it is now. And you can click on the check or X when you're done. And we also have the power option, which obviously turns off the power to the frame, obviously. And we can also do the settings, which you can actually see all the data, the information for your frame, the weather, the location, the date and time that it was created and photos were added. You can change your time zone if your time in the top right is actually wrong on your screen. We can manage photos. You can actually see how many gigabytes are used on your frame, but you can see there's 32 gigabytes on this frame. So you can also delete photos or import photos depending on what you want. You can view your friends list, however many people you've invited using the code that is on the display screen. You can click on display. You can actually choose your brightness. It's extremely bright right now, so I'm gonna turn it down a bit or you can have it max. We also have sleep mode, which you can have it turn off on days of the week that you have selected it to. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and the hours that you've set it to. Currently, it's just on all of the days or you can turn off the setting or trash that. You can go to slideshow where you can actually control the settings for how long each photo is shown. My favorite setting is the timer. You can click on it and you can show how long each photo is actually here on the screen for. Currently, I have it set for one hour on each photo, or you can actually have it on about 30, 40 seconds. I'd say 30 seconds is a good average. Just if you want to sit in front of this and view all the photos, like just go by in your chair, or if you actually want it to serve as a picture frame, you can turn this setting up all the way to almost 24 hours right there and it'll serve with a new photo every single day so you don't get bored of it and you can just appreciate it. leave it on 30 seconds and then most importantly we have the wi-fi you actually need the wi-fi log into your a local wi-fi network and you can actually you know have your family and friends send photos to the screen but yeah it's simple as joining any other wi-fi network you just click on it and enter in your password because it is a touch screen notifications it'll give you notifications if the storage is running out or if you want backups or when someone adds a photo it'll make like a beep noise type thing you can turn those all off here if you want notifications or not backup and restore if the memory runs out you can basically click on backup so you can backup and save all the photos to the cloud while adding a bunch of new ones so they just don't get permanently deleted help is like help and support if your frame is giving you issues i would recommend contacting support right here or even reading the privacy policy if you think you have the eligibility for a refund here and about it just like the general information and the serial number for the frame and if we leave settings you can actually see that is how you set up your frame and yeah my favorite thing about this frame is it is a touch frame you can hang it on your walls and you can basically put it vertical or horizontal however you want it and yeah it's really nice because you can actually swipe on it to actually view your photos if you want to go here and back and so on. But yeah, it's a great gift and you should definitely give one to your grandmother.